Hey everyone, it's Smooth98. Welcome back to my Let's Play series for Mega Man Battle Network 2. Let's, last time we left off with getting the hope data and the hero data. And our quest becomes City Net Battlers. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the data back to the sky. To shoot a bunny. Like, it's a bunny. Anyways, so we're battling and even though most of you guys who are watching this know how this game works and how to play it, there's probably some non-Mega Man fan out there that's watching the Mega Man related video and doesn't know how to play. So long story short, okay, the white number in the box is my health. The white number above the bunny's health is the bunny's health, obviously. And the this is the chip screen that comes up every time you start your turn and end a turn. So you can stack, like, you see how there's the letter S under the sword? I can stack it with anything else that's the S. So I could do this. And then if it was the same chip, like, there's two swords, I could stack them and, you know, use them. And if it's the asterisk, with uh, asterisk, the little star, whatever you want to call it, then you could mix and match it with anything else on your screen. And, aw, uh, this is the wrong way. I just failed. Alright, so, yeah, there's two cannons, there's an asterisk, which in Battle Network 2, they labeled them as orange to make them more noticeable. And there's a little add feature down here, which basically, if I have a bunch of worthless stuff, like say I have three swords and everyone is in the back row, then I could add it into the add section and go a whole turn without using those chips. And when I get my next turn, say I put in two chips, then I will be able to you I'll have two extra chips to use that turn. And I'm gonna apologize right now because Sometimes when I'm speaking, I'll get all caught up in my sentence and just start, you know, making a bunch of mistakes in my sentences. I apologize for that because I know my, um, rhetorical speaking, if you want to call it, isn't perfect. So, you know, bear with me. Alright, you found both of them. Alright, got the Z license. Alright, license to... Present? Alright, first we got mail and we got the option to use chip select. So I'm gonna read this mail first. Alright, land bitch sending him a mail about already heard she got I got a Z license and basically here's my computer password. Come with Mega Man. Right. That's great. So we could, you know, kinda walk into a computer, you know, destroy viruses and shit. It's all good. The default chip. Okay. It's, this is basically... Okay, so what it is, is that Mega Man has memory. And you could increase that memory, which I'll show you exactly what it is later on. But you could pick chips to show at the start of every battle. Like, say I had a cannon, and I wanted that cannon to show up at the beginning of every fight then I would use the chip selection system and then it will show up at every battle. And I'll show you an example of that now because that explanation wasn't that clear. And alright, you see where it, it says up here, 4 MB. That's how much memory Mega Man has. And by all my chips, there's a certain amount of memory. Like for example, shotgun, it's 4 MB, so then I hit select, and at the beginning of every battle, my shotgun chip will appear, ready for me to use. So anyways, 
Alright, let's head back. Are we supposed to talk to this guy again? Um, I don't think so. I think we're supposed to jack out. Oh, we're talking to these guys. Alright, um, let's see. These are probably dealers with items I could buy. Um... Eh. Like I said before, I'll probably just come back and get these items later. Actually, this is as many energies. I'll probably end up using those at some point. Which, you know, heals 50 HP. Um, let me see. Whoa, where the fuck am I? Uh, oh, um, boards. Let's see, these probably have a bunch of little tips about viruses and just, um, where people talk and shit. I don't know how to explain it. Alright, I'm pretty sure we could jack out now. We got our phones ringing. So dramatic. Alright, looks like shit's about to get real, and yeah, we're going to Yai's house, which is... There was that funky guy that was standing in front of my house earlier in the game about water heaters. So I'm just gonna assume that guy is, like, a dick. Alright, now it's our turn to go in, and shit, getting real. Door locked behind us. I told you I'd wait, but I'd be worried. And we got a battle chip, which is, um, Rose and Abby chip. And it works the same in every game, which Ro will come out and attack, and then you'll get healed a little bit, which is pretty useful. It's a simple chip, but it's useful. Alright, purple gas cloud, that's pretty funky. And boom. And Dex, his fat ass, is in the corner of the room. Why would he go towards the vent? Are you kidding me? Alright, um, this is probably control panel. Aw, oh, it's broken. Alright, boom. This is the gas computer. So we're gonna go in. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so basically Gutsman and Glide are screwed right now, and so is the eye because she's taking in all that gas. Ooh, that had to hurt. Even though that was a puff of clouds. Alright, uh, I don't want to do- oh shit, okay, there, whatever, I'm gonna go on ahead.
Alright, virus battle, let's do this. Oh, and like I said, my shotgun appeared. Um, with the little red square around it, so... It's a useful program, chip selection. Like I said, there's items that can increase your memory so you can use higher level chips with the chip selection. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, oh yeah, we finally got there. Uh, I, I'm not gonna like this puzzle. There was a puzzle in Mega Man Battle Network 5 that involved um, the clouds with Shadow Man and um, Gyro Man, and I hated it. And I already know I'm gonna hate this one, even though it's really simple in its own right. Oh crap, I missed. That was retarded. We're almost at 13 minutes, and I'm probably either going to A, cut off this video, and then label this as part 3, when we're trying to save Yai, or I might try to cut out some parts like I usually do, like I did with the last video, for example, and just, you know, uh, save time and shit. Alright, boom, there's Gutsman over here. There is obviously a notch right here, so I'm gonna turn it. Alright, we're about to hit 15 minutes at 14 minutes and 36 seconds. So, I'm gonna cut off this video right now and continue on on the part 4. It's Blues98, see you guys later.